when something happens on your team, it's a natural reaction to want to jump in and take care of it right away. If it's a conversation that you need to have, maybe to redirect somebody or to correct something, it's natural to want to do that immediately and to get on the phone or walk down the hall or go over to the cubicle or whatever the situation is. If you're physically able to talk to someone in person or if you need to pick up the phone or send a text or Slack message, it can be very tempting to want to do that right away. But something that can really help you as a leader is to remember that you don't have to do things right away, that sometimes it's actually better to wait to let yourself calm down a little bit because sometimes it can be really emotional when something happens that you're frustrated about if especially if you've maybe mentioned that multiple times already and it's come up again why does this need to keep coming up you know i need to deal with this immediately or if it was a big deal something went really wrong you want to jump in and go what happened here why did this happen i thought we talked about this or any of those kind of reactions very emotional you want to make sure that you're always as a leader keeping a calm emotional exterior and truly calming yourself down so that you're actually calm on the interior you want to be emotionally controlled in control of your emotions so that your team sees you as a calm steady presence you don't want to be super excited and crazy and upset and really frustrated and you also don't want to appear as lethargic and like, hey, yeah, whatever. I don't really care. You know, you, you want them to know that you're engaged, but make sure you're giving your energy to positive things, not giving your energy to negative things, and that you're bringing this calm, controlled attitude to the situation. So when something happens that you feel a need to respond, first, just take a couple of deep breaths. Just get control of yourself and calm down and remember, you don't need to respond immediately unless something's literally on fire or there's literally an emergency where there could be bodily harm somebody's injured there could somebody's bleeding something really bad we used to say at my house with the kids don't call if i'm out don't call unless something's on fire or bleeding those were legit emergencies everything else could probably wait so same with you and your leadership. It's unlikely something is so serious that you absolutely need to jump in right away. So step back and take a couple deep breaths. And then if it's appropriate to respond right then, if you need to weigh in or ask for a conversation, ask for a meeting, like slack somebody like, hey, can we talk? Or actually just call somebody. Or again, if you're in person, walk down and find that person. Say, hey, can we jump in this conference room. Can I talk to you for a couple minutes? Or if it's at home, this could be a personal thing. Something happens and you want to have a conversation to correct something. The impulse to correct it right away can be really strong, especially people on the DISC personality task who are kind of over here on the high task orientation, the D's and the C's. Not so much with I's and S's. They're people oriented and they can kind of go with the flow sometimes a little bit better than the D's and the C's who want things to be the way they need to be all the time right away. And so there's this really strong desire to get it corrected right away, but you don't need to. So take those couple deep breaths and then see, do you need to jump in? Do you need to make a phone call and set up a meeting? Maybe you just want to set up the meeting. You don't have to have the meeting, just set up the meeting. And then as far as having the meeting itself, having that conversation, that's on your timeline. Unless it absolutely requires immediate attention, set it up for a day or two away so that you have time to process, so that you have time to think, write down some notes, be prepared for that conversation, be prepared for that meeting and be able to really be in a place of emotional control when you have that meeting. So you can be the calm, steady presence that you want to project that you're not emotional, that it's not immediate. Things don't have to be dealt with right away. And this can be the same in your personal life. Things don't always have to get corrected right away. Sometimes giving things time, seeing how it plays out, seeing what happens. Maybe it sorts itself out. Maybe people figure things out on their own without you. Maybe if you see a situation, but you just wait, maybe it corrects itself. Maybe the people jump in and go, hey, that's messed up. We should fix that. And you don't even need to do anything. Hopefully you're growing a team that's becoming self-sufficient, but you've got to give them a chance. You've got to let them live in the mess a little bit, kind of live with the mistake. Again, if it's not a fatal mistake, then let them live with it and see what they do about it. 
And if they don't ultimately correct it themselves and you do need to step in, well, then you can step in on your timeline when you're prepared, when you're ready, and when you're calm. So don't always be in a hurry to immediately address things. Wait until the timing's right. Give your team a chance to take care of it and give yourself a chance to get control and be prepared. But don't always rush in. Sometimes it's better to just let things wait and do it on your timeline.